How to add a switch leg without a neutral wire for switch junction box to control a light outlet. Light outlet junction box with a pull chain light socket to which the switch leg cable will be added to control that light outlet. Turn off the power. Remove the pull chain light socket from the junction box. Make sure the light outlet junction box will accommodate the new cable. According to the junction box calculations in the NEC, National Electrical Code, this junction box will accommodate another 14, 2 cable. Cable from the power source. Cables to another electrical outlets. Temporarily pull the spliced wires out of the junction box to make room for the new cable. Junction box cable wires. Ground wires, bare. Neutral wires, white. Hot wires, black. Install a cable of the same gauge from the switch junction box as the wires in the light outlet junction box, insert it into the light outlet junction box, and secure it to a stud no more than 12 inches from the point where the cable enters the junction box. Fourteen, two nm non-metallic sheathed cable from the new switch enters into the light outlet junction box. Cable secured to the stud within 12 inches of the cable entry into the junction box. Remove the cable sheath. Wires should be at least 6 inches long. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box not less than 1 quarter inch. 14, 2 nm cable wires. White, neutral wire. Bare, ground wire. Black, hot wire. Connect the ground, bare, wire of the new cable to the ground, bare, wires from the junction box, then insert the connected wires into the junction box. Ground wires spliced and inserted into the junction box. Use black electrical tape or other means to change the color of the neutral, white wire from the switch leg cable to the hot wire, as this wire will no longer be neutral wire.
White cable wire marked as hot. Disconnect the hot, black, wire from the light socket and remove this pigtail wire from the spliced hot, black, wires. Trim the white wire marked as black from the switch leg cable to no shorter than 6 inches, splice it with other hot, black, wires from the junction box, and insert the spliced wires into the junction box. White wire from switch leg cable marked black and all black wires from the junction box. Connected with wire nut. And inserted into the junction box. Trim the remaining wire to no shorter than 6 inches, strip the end of the wire about 1 half inch, and connect it to the hot terminal of the light socket, gold screw. The wire was trimmed and the insulation was stripped from the end of the wire. Hot wire connected to the light socket connection terminal, gold screw. Secure the pull chain light socket to the junction box and install the light bulb. Installation complete. Switch leg cable from the light outlet. Insert the cable into the junction box and secure it to a stud no more than 12 inches from the point where the cable enters the junction box.
cable inserted into the junction box and secured to the stud within 12 inches from entry point. Remove the cable sheath. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box not less than one quarter inch. Use black electrical tape or other means to change the color of the neutral, white wire from the switch leg cable to the hot wire, as this wire will no longer be neutral wire. White cable wire marked as hot. Trim wires to no shorter than 6 inches and strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. The length of free wire from the removed cable sheath must be at least 6 inches. At least 3 inches of wire must extend from the front of the junction box. Wire ends stripped of insulation. Make a loop at the end of each wire. A loop is made at the end of each wire. Single pole switch, front view. Single pole switch, rear view. Ground connection terminal, green screw. Hot connection terminals, gold screws. Connect the ground, bare, wire to the ground terminal of the switch, green screw. Ground wire connected. Connect the hot wires to the hot terminals of the switch in any order. Hot wires connected to the switch. Insert the wires into the junction box, make sure the ground wire does not touch any of the hot terminals of the switch. Secure the switch to the junction box and install the switch wall plate. Restore power and test the light outlet, make sure the switch in the pull chain light socket is turned on. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.